International Space Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event, Sunichka? The International Space Station is ready for the event. WBZ-TV, this is Mission Control in Houston, Texas. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is WBZ-TV. How do you hear me? We've got you loud and clear up here on the International Space Station. How do you hear us? Excellent. So you can hear me perfectly, and I can see you and hear you perfectly, waving right back at you. Uh, we are just having a little bit of a debate. It's Sonny Williams, not Suny Williams. That's right. My real name is actually Sunita, so that's where people get a little bit mixed up. But uh, I think my mom always wanted to call me Sunny, so most people call me Sunny. <laughs> well, it's your personality. You're, you always have that sunny disposition. Well, thank you so much for taking a couple of moments to talk to us. I really appreciate it. 220 miles from Earth. Kind of a neat thing to be able to talk to you. And uh, first of all, just tell me how you're doing up there. Oh, we're doing great. Uh, we've been up here a couple months now. It feels like we've been here forever. You sort of acclimatize, and uh, and then new and exciting things happen. Um, I think you know we had a SpaceX vehicle come visit us the other day, so now we have it all docked and uh, opened the hatch, and we found some pretty fun things inside and uh, getting ready to pack it up with a bunch of stuff to take home, actually. And I heard that part of your delivery the other day was uh, some homemade ice cream. Was that a big deal? Yeah, we still have a, a bunch of it. It's uh, up in the freezer. We've only, uh, we're, you know, up here, you don't, you can't just go to the grocery store and and fill up. And so we are maybe a little miserly and <laughs> eating it slowly. But uh, yeah, we have ice cream up here now, and uh, we're enjoying every moment of it. And I did a lot of research because I needed to know it was a chocolate vanilla swirl, correct? Absolutely, yes. The inquiry minds need to know. Chocolate vanilla, always a, uh, a good standby. Everybody loves it, so it, um, it's perfect. And we have some things we can add to it up here, too, to make it a little bit, spice it up if we need to. <laughs> Sonny, let me ask you, I was looking at some live pictures actually just a few moments ago of the uh, space shuttle Endeavor going through the streets of California as it's making its way to its, uh, its final home. Uh, what does it feel like for you? to see the space program now using these private shipments like you had the other day and to no longer be using the space shuttle? Well, you know, it's just, it was a sad day when, when the last space shuttle landed last year and uh, all of us were, uh, you know, a little teary-eyed. A bunch of people in Houston saw Endeavor fly by. Um, it actually stopped over in Houston, which was really awesome for all the folks who had been working on the space shuttle program for so long. But, you know, it's the next step. Um, the space shuttle has a capability, had a capability to come to low Earth orbit to build this amazing space station. I mean, wow, what an accomplishment. It was quite a vehicle, uh, you know, all of them that were participated in it. But, you know, our, our, as NASA, our next step is moving out of low Earth orbit, maybe going to the, back to the moon, an asteroid, onto Mars. And the, the space shuttle wasn't the vehicle for that. And so we've got to spend our money and our attention and our expertise on building the next spacecraft. And I think, you know, that's just a step in the, in the right direction. So, um, you know, hats off to the space shuttle team. Amazing vehicle. Like I said, built my home right now. So I can't complain about it at all. Um, but, you know, maybe time to retire and bring something new. Sonny, have you looked at the Mars rover and thought to yourself, you know, I'd like to go there? Absolutely. You know, that thing's about the size of a VW Bug, so it might be a little bit of a squishy ride, but, um, you know, our Soyuz capsule, too, isn't, isn't that much bigger, the part that we ride in. Um, but then when you see the pictures of Mars, how could you not help but think, man, I'd like to be there. I'd like to be the guy making the decision whether or not uh, we should test this area, if water flowed here, or if, where's the next area to look at. Um, give it that human touch uh, there on that surface of that planet. But we'll get there. You know, a combination of robotics and human spaceflight, I think the next generation of explorers, the kids who are in elementary school today, are going to be there. 
Let me ask you, uh, Sonny, over the past couple of years, every time we've mentioned Sonny Williams, we've always referred to you as either Needham's own or the pride of Needham. But over the past couple of months, you've had some competition there. Uh, Ali Raisman also now being called Needham's own. I know you've been up in the space station uh, while all the Olympics uh, were happening. Uh, give me your thoughts on seeing what she did. Uh, she's amazing. Actually, we got to watch the Olympics um, sort of real time. Uh, we have a we can uplink TV, and I made a point to make sure we were watching the gymnastics when the U.S. women's team was on, and just right down there we were watching. I was wearing my Needham Rocket sweatshirt, cheering for her. It was awesome. <laughs> Uh, do you think, uh, I mean, you have a little bit of uh, help there uh, with the lack of gravity, but do you think you could do a few Ali Raisman type flips for us? Oh, I'm a perfect 10 up here. I wouldn't uh, compete with her on the ground, but I'm pretty good up here. <laughs> oh, here she goes. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Everyone gives you a 10 except for the Russian judge. Gives you a 9.6. But we could talk about that later on. I know also, uh, Sonny, that you are a big Red Sox fan. You've been up there since July, which means you didn't have to watch the second half of the season, which was probably a good thing. Yeah, I'm still a Red Sox fan. You could probably notice in my flip I'm wearing my Red Sox. I have faith. Um, I'm happy it's football season and the Patriots are doing well. So go Pats. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We always have the Patriots to fall back on. Very, very good point. And I just wanted to ask you, a couple of weeks ago, you did a triathlon. Now, when I first read this, I thought, how do you do a triathlon in, this, in space? So can you explain how that works? Certainly. Um, actually, right here in front of the camera is the bike. It only has, uh, you only have to clip in with pedals. You don't have to sit down, of course, because there's no gravity, so there's really no sitting. So that's the bike. We have a treadmill around the corner, um, and also we have a weightlifting machine. It's called the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. And that actually is like a bar, like a normal bench press bar, which you can do squats on and deadlifts, as well as upper body. And so for the triathlon, I looked at how much time it would probably take me to swim and we we organized a exercise program of about 15 exercises on the a red which worked everything from upper body all the way lower body including abs for about 20 minutes and then i got on the bike and essentially did the same profile that the guys did in california and then ran uh, four miles on the treadmill and so i my transition areas were a little bit shorter um, I wore the same clothes, so I didn't have to change like that or anything uh, from one exercise to another. Did change my shoes um, and got some water in between time, too. So it was, it was an imitation, but it was pretty close. I was pretty tired at the end of it. That's pretty cool. And do you have any plans? I know that you have run the Boston Marathon before. Any plans to run it again in the future? Absolutely. Um, you know, my folks live in Falmouth right now, and so uh, this year I ran on the space station with my sister, just like I ran the marathon uh, last time I was up here, the Falmouth Road Race, which is only 7.2, and I was happy it was a little bit shorter than the marathon. But uh, I think with working out up here, I'm feeling pretty strong, and so when I get home, I hope to run the Boston Marathon again. It's a great town. I love Boston. I love being close by there in it, you know, being part of it. Um, when I talk fast, the accent comes out, so that's good. I haven't lost it, um, so I definitely plan on running the Boston Marathon again. Let me hear your Boston accent. Let me hear you say, uh, park your space station in Harvest Yard. <laughs> you can park your, your space station in Harvest Yard. Or, or go down to Cape Cod. pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Cape Cod, I know your parents, I think they're down in Falmouth. Anything you want to say to your family back home? I just wanted to say hi. They all came, went out last night to uh, Nobska Lighthouse to see us fly over. I think my dog was out there too, so I just wanted to say hi to everybody down in, uh, in Falmouth and Cape Cod as well, and of course in Boston. And uh, we miss you guys. We love you. We got one piece of uh, New England uh, I don't know what you call them, New England prize, fall prize uh, from SpaceX, too. So it's a little bit reminder of home. I love it. Very nice. Doing your apple picking, and uh, you're ready for a New England fall. And I know you'll be home soon in time for Thanksgiving. So uh, great job up there, and I'm sure uh, everyone back home can't wait to see you. So thank you so much. 
thanks for your time and thanks for your interest in the space program. And I hope there's more Needamites and Bostonites who will be up here uh, flying in space before long. All right, thank you. Sonny Williams, thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes today's event. Thank you, WBZ Television uh, Station. We are now returning you to your regularly scheduled programming.